Peace family, Kanji Queen here. And in this segment, I want to talk a little bit about something controversial. We do the healing. We go and we get the therapy. We go and we do the shadow work. We build ourselves up from nothing, right? And we become the best versions of ourselves. But then there's people around us, like our loved ones, people that we grew up with, family, friends, like people that are near and dear to our heart that doesn't want to do the healing. They don't want to do right by themselves. They want to stay stuck in the same place that we left them. And of course, we want to see them grow. We want to see them elevate. We want to see them prosper and thrive with us because that's just the type of people that we are, right? We have big hearts and we can't just leave those behind. That's what we thought. But what I'm going to tell you is something that's going to free you from this imprisonment that you put yourself in. Unfortunately, many of us that's watching this right now have gone through things where we've had, the children had to be the parents to the parent, or some people had to be the parent for their siblings and they had to look after the whole entire family, right? They never really had a chance to be a kid or to really do the things that they wanted to do because they had to put their life on hold to take care of others, others who were adults already. And so we have to realize that that cycle never really breaks unless you set the boundaries and you break it yourself. And I know some of y'all probably like, oh, Conja Queen, how you gonna say that? That's my sister, that's my mother, that's my auntie, that's my dad, that's my family, that's my best friend. I can't leave them behind. What kind of person would I be? Let me ask you a question. Ask yourself, right? If you did all of this work, all of the sacrifices that you made to become the person that you are today, and no, maybe you haven't achieved the final product of the being that you want to be, but you're working on getting there, right? And then you notice that the people around you is not putting in that same energy. They're not reciprocating the love and dedication that you're trying to give to them. Now, what you're telling yourself and your subconscious self is that this person is more important than me. This person is more of a priority than my needs. So when you start to continuously do this, what you're doing is you're programming yourself to put yourself last. And then it's like all of that hard work, all of that building of character, all of that work that you put into you, for what? Sometimes life gives us tests. And one of those tests is that we have to learn detachment, understanding that yes, you can still love someone, but if that relationship is toxic, and if that relationship is bringing you down, and let's say, so what if it's family? So what if it's blood? So what if y'all like loved ones or whatever? Y'all know each other forever. If these people don't support you, if these people don't try to help you in any way, if they're not showing you that they love you, because love is just a word, right? When people say it, oh, I love you. Oh, this is family. But what does that really mean? The way that you show somebody that you love them is through action. Love is an action. It is a verb. It's not just a noun. It's not just a thing. It's not just a feeling, a fleeting feeling that comes and goes unless you want something. See, the funny thing is a lot of people probably grew up in households where their parents were narcissists or their parents only made them feel validated when they were useful. And so these brought up people pleasers, right? People that feel like the only way that I can get acknowledged is if I show or prove myself. Let me show you how great I am. Let me show you the acts of service that I can do for you. Let me pour all of the liquid, all of the goodness from my cup, even though I'm starving over here. So that way you can be complete and you can validate me. Okay? So... This is the crazy part. It's like, yo, yes, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. But I, Conja Queen, I'm about to say my real name up here. Conja Queen, like, yo, I really had to cut off people and distance myself. And I am a cancer son. Do you understand how hard that is? Family, friends, love, relationships is so important to me. Right? Like, so self-sacrificing. But I've come to a point where I've done so much work on myself. Like, yo, I was talking to my therapist, son, and I was like, yo, like, I realized how much I come. And I realized that the main thing that's stressing me the F out 
is certain people that I have attachments to because I feel like I have an obligation to care for this person or these people. Because that's what society says, right? Like you're supposed to look after certain people. That's your family. That's your loved ones. Like that's your friend. You have to. No, you don't have to do anything that doesn't suit your spirit. Anything that goes against your truth is wicked, unrighteous, and is going to bring you down. I'm telling you that right now. So what do you do, Conja Queen? What if I'm living with this person, right? What if I live with this person? What if it's a person that I'm married to? People come to me all the time. My clients be like, look, I've been married to this person for like 10, 20 years. And I've been growing in my spiritual journey. And this person is still stuck in the same place that we met. They don't want to grow. They don't want to become better. They don't want to thrive. They don't want to elevate. They're not trying to do anything to grow and improve themselves. And I feel like the relationship and the marriage is dying. But I don't want to leave this person because we've been together for so long. Now ask yourself, right? Like, yes, I understand that marriage is a holy union. But at the end of the day, honestly, I feel like when it comes to marriage, like the whole idea of it, and this is a little off topic, this my personal opinion is something that I come to realize. It's like, yo, to tell somebody I promise to be with you for the rest of my life, through sickness, through health, through whatever, to make that pledge and that swear, Especially people that got married young and you don't even know who you are. That's a lot. That's a lot to ask for somebody to give me your life. Like you promised to swear your life to me for all eternity. It's like, whoa, (laughs) that sounds like a blood contract. But anyway, I digress. Back to the point, right? So people get into these relationships and then they, people change, people grow. And that's what I'm realizing. It's like, yo, you have no obligation to anybody. And that also means that they don't have any chains on you. Anybody. You have to set boundaries for yourself. If you have people that's only calling you where they want to complain about their boyfriend or they want to complain about this and they want to complain about that and they need money or they need help or they need somebody to do this for them. And you're the go-to person. Why? Because you conditioned them to look at you as a crutch. Now, what I want you to do is see if you start saying no to these people. If you start saying, nah, I'm not doing that no more. No, I don't have time to pick up my phone. If you start to put boundaries, watch how they respond. Just sit back and observe. Because people who love you are not going to give you shit for taking distance and trying to find peace of mind even if that means you gotta love them from a distance my nigga like sometimes you have to do what's best for you even though it might hurt other people okay if you're mental if you have to choose and it's gonna come to that point in time and remember life will show you lessons and cycles and it's like yo people are going to continue doing whatever they want to do until they get sick and tired of it And that's what I realized since I was young, when I had all of my friends coming to me, complaining about their boyfriends and stuff like that. Oh my God, he's doing this, he's doing that. And I would give them advice. And then lo and behold, they'll come back to me two weeks later with the same problem. People are not going to change because you want them to change or because you give them advice. Sometimes people don't even want to come to you with for advice they just want to come to talk and dump their junk on you that's what it's about because if you give this person advice and you give them resources to help themselves and they still doing the same dumb crap what is that telling you that's telling you that now this problem has nothing to do with you this is between them and whatever else is going on in their life now you have to remove yourself and let them figure it out because what i learned about karma is that they say that don't be so quick to help people because you could be getting in the way of their karma everything that's happening to them even though you may not be able to see it it could be something from a past life something from their past and this life something that they did nobody else know about but they everything every cause has its effect Everything has karma. And so when you get in the way of that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get the backlash. So sometimes we got to step back and stop being the crutch for people because you could be the reason why they're not growing. You could be the reason why they're not learning their lessons because guess what? Here you are, always ready to pick them up when they fall. 
You got to let them fall. Just like babies, just like children. They're going to fall a few times before they learn how to walk. They're going to crawl. They're going to stumble. They're going to get some boobles along the way. But it, what happens if you always holding your baby's hand? They're never going to learn to let go and walk for themselves. It's just like grown ass people. Okay? You got to be like, look, I'm not going to be your crutch anymore. I'm not your garbage disposal for you to dump your emotional trash into me. I work too hard on myself to let you do this to me anymore. I love you, but I love me more. And if you love me, then you're going to get yourself right and do what you got to do for yourself so that we can be in harmony. So that we can coexist. Because if not, guess what's happening? <laughs> I'm distancing myself. I'm going to love you, but from a far distance, baby. From a far distance. And I know y'all like... Come on, Conjure Queen. Easier said than done. Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? But at the end of the day, who are you going to choose? Whose peace of mind is priority? Is it other people's? Or is it you? Because guess what's going to happen? When you end up putting yourself in a predicament where you're always the person that's the go-to, you always answering your phone when they call. You always hop, skip, and jump when they say come. I'm telling you. You put yourself in that position. So people going to keep going along with it. Put your foot down. Set boundaries for yourself. You want to be out here talking about you want to channel spirits. You want to open portals. You want to work with your ancestors. If you don't even have boundaries with living human beings, why do you think these spirits are going to respect you? Why do you think they're going to respect your boundaries? They're going to be coming in, raping you in your dreams and all of that and pimping you out. Y'all see it all of the time, these people out here with all of these big ass elaborate altars, with all of these statues, with all of this food and offerings on the table. But then these spirits ain't doing nothing for these people. They pet these spirits is pimping people out, son. Pimping them out. Meanwhile, this person got everything, they altars and stuff decked out. These deities got all of that stuff. They fed and everything, but yet these deities and spirits and stuff is not even doing the work for you. Why are you struggling? Why are your kids not eating? Why are you looking like that? Why your life is a mess? Your spirits they ain't doing their job. Stop giving them their offerings, bro. Start feeding yourself. Boundaries, baby. Boundaries. So that is the message of the day. It doesn't matter who the person is. Family, friends, lover, husband, wife, sibling, whatever. If this person or these people are stressful to you, if they're abusive to you, if they're toxic to you, if they are draining you, if every time you talk to this person or see this person, you feel tired and you feel like you just need to take a break for like a week or two, let me tell you, that is a sign your spirit is telling you it is time to take a break. It is time to set boundaries. It's nothing wrong with loving people from a distance. So if you needed that confirmation, if you needed somebody to tell you that, well, here you go. I'm telling you that. Conjure Queen is telling you it's time to put you first, boo-boo. You deserve it. You worked hard for this. This is your life. And guess what? When shit hits the fan and you, let's say your money is, is running low. You ain't got nowhere to go. You need help. These same people that you broke your back for to help, guess what's going to happen? think they're gonna run come help you like you did them try it try it and if you really want to test them ask these people for a favor do the same thing that they do to you to them and see how they respond the mirror effect see how they will act and pay attention because people will show you how they feel they're not going to tell you always pay attention actions speak louder than words got me worked up got my nose sweating look at y'all <laughs> But nah, I love y'all family. I just had to just share that message for whoever needed it. Because like I always say, I use my platform as a journal, as an outlet for me. I only speak about my experiences, what worked for me. Honestly, cutting people off, putting me first and really just living my truth and not caring about what people think or their judgments or their, their gossiping behind my back. I know they talk about me. I know they still watch me. Listen. It's all good. I still love y'all. But at the end of the day, I'm not supporting nobody who don't support and love me through action. Point blank, period. So, but I love y'all though, family. Y'all be supporting me, you know. <laughs> Let me stop being goofy. I love y'all. I gotta go. Um, Gotta go handle some things. But take care of yourself. Set those boundaries. Until next time, Conja Queen signing out. Peace.